Amen. Amen. John chapter 17, the message today is Jesus' evaluatory prayer. Now, when it comes to December, we will want to see all those things that you wrote, have they come to pass or how? What, what was your contribution in doing them? <laughs> and then, when that time you realize, ah, I did not do this, that's why I did not get this. Now, this prayer here is a long prayer. Actually, beginning, it begins from verse uh, 1, uh, like even, even from chapter 16. It's a discourse. It's a long discourse. It's a long message. It's a long teaching of Jesus. And here now, he begins to pray for himself and to evaluate himself uh, before the Father. Because now, after this, he is going to be crucified. He's going to be arrested, crucified. He will die and he will resurrect after this. But before he goes back to the Father, he offers his Father an evaluation. That I have done what he told me to do. Now, when it comes to you, you need to ask yourself these questions that I will show you here. Have I done what Jesus said? Have I done to my best what I was supposed to do? Praise God. Amen. So this is a long prayer Jesus prayed for himself, for his disciples, and for the church to come after that. Those that will believe my message through these ones, through Peter, John, James, those people. That is the church after. That is us now. We have believed. So Jesus prayed even for us. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. He prayed for us in this prayer. Amen. And we have read that part. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He prays for you. He prays for you. He prays for himself first. He prays for Peter. And then he prays for us, the church that will believe Jesus after. So let's write these things and uh, I have projected them there for you. In the final discourse, this is the final discourse, the final message, the uh -huh. final teaching. In the final discourse, Jesus begins by assessing his earthly ministry to his father. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. He begins by assessing his ministry to his father. Then he continues to pray for his followers and the coming church. Number two, Jesus prays for the father, to the father, that his followers may be as we are one. That is what we have read. We are one. My father, I and you are one. We are one. Lord, I pray for them that they shall also be one. Which you love me, which you love me may be in them and I in them. Praise God. Jesus prays that they may be one. We shall be one. God wants us to be one. Praise the Lord. Say amen. Amen. God wants you, 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 you to be one. God wants us to be united so that we can fight the enemy. Praise God. Number three, it portrays a prayer of Jesus Christ addressed to his father. Prays in the context immediately before his betrayal and crucifixion. Praise God. I want you to learn these things so that you can know what. Oh, yes, it is up there that uh, it portrays a prayer of Jesus Christ addressed to his father. Prays in context immediately before his betrayal and crucifixion. After this, he is going to be betrayed, he's going to be arrested, and he is going to be crucified. Of course, executed and, and crucified. And he will die, and three days after, he shall resurrect. Therefore, in this prayer, number four, in this prayer, Jesus offers a self. <laughs> Jesus offers a self evaluation or self assessment prayer to his father, which we need also to use to evaluate ourselves on earth before we meet our Creator. Now, one of these days, maybe ten years, fifty years, a hundred years from now, we will meet our heavenly Father. And this is the prayer before you go there, you should use to assess yourself. <laughs> so Jesus, before he appears before his father, he assesses himself. He evaluates. Willingly. How could I miss you? You're not forced. You should evaluate yourself. Now, not going to get to a continuous assessment. Cut. Test. 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 Those assessments are done at the end of the time or just between the, uh, the middle. In the middle of the time. Yes. Maybe after one month, they will not go assessed to make a foundation man by a 
uh, bio, biology. And um, metamorphosis, genetics, uh, genetics uh, now on that one topic, continuous assessment test. Now, Esther, you need to assess yourself before God. Now, come on, Bia. Umevanya ni ni baka hapo. Can you assess yourself? Don't read. Don't forget this. I'm asking you, can you assess yourself? <laughs> after some years. <laughs> like at times, I, I, I want to ask myself, um, after getting my for these years, am I becoming a better? Well, you begin to show that you need to be very aware. You are not that. Because you know, you need to do your own. You see, God will answer this way. When the begin to go on and on, he Mimi, how about now? How about by end of his own? How about now? How Praise God. That is your evaluation. Evaluate yourself before God. Ask, ask yourself. I am supposed to have brought. Ten people into salvation this week. But ni mekura ni mekuna ni mera. Akuna atamutu. But now this man next week with idea. That is assessment. You need to assess yourself. Praise God. Amen. Na nikiza mai mo ekire muda ora mume pote samiaka. Muda da kambi amungu bona. I pray reverse my turn, reverse my years, Lord, uh, so that my God may be able to my God. Because times and chances are given to them all. Yeah. Now you have your chance. I have my chance. You have your chance. And that is the whole purpose of even going to read you. It is, it is to do something. The only thing you read was what he did. The reason was why he hapa. You want to come and come and Otherwise, Jesus is coming back. And you will have nobody to take to heaven. You are going there alone. And I'm going to say, 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 Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. So, these, these are the seven I have. That Jesus uses to assess himself. Seven I have. Jesus. The seven I have. I have. I have. I have. Now you have the book of how many chapters in John? Chapter John. John? Yeah. It should be twenty one. Because it is seven, seven, seven. Three times. Why? Seven I am statements. Seven I have evaluatory statements. Seven, 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 and if you go to the same John writing in the book of Revelation, the self trumpets, the seven years of tribulation, the seven um, uh, judgment, the seven seals, praise the Lord. So he has a lot of things to do about seven, 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 until so he gives us twenty-one, seven times three chapters in John. Now today I will give you the seven I have. Of Jesus, this is what you need to ask yourself: Have I done all this before God? I have, I have. Jesus says, I have, I have. In His prayer, when you kneel down, you need to ask, as I pray, Lord, have I done these things that Jesus, I, Jesus said? Number one, I have glorified Thee. Mm. Uh, verses four. I have, I have glorified Thee on earth. I have finished the work which Thou givest me to do. Praise God. Amen. Have you glorified God in everything you are doing? John is saying, uh, Jesus is saying, I have glorified thee. Now, one of these days, Jesus is, God is going to stand before you. Uh, at the, at the, at the, at the uh, this is called what? At the judgment seat. Now, the Kuriza, did you glorify me on earth? Did you glorify me by your dressing? Did you glorify me by your preaching? Preachers will stand before God and they will cry. Because God will ask them, when I gave you the talent and the money, I gave you the media, did you glorify me? Did you glorify me before men? Your message was about money and asking for people and, 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 and running after girls. Praise God, you never glorify me on earth. Jesus says, I have glorified thee. I have glorified And he is comfortably praying. Lord, I have glorified thee on earth. Have you glorified God? In your life, have you glorified? I have glorified. Unaweza sema kama Jesus sema, I have glorified you. Can you say like that? If you can't, then you, this, this, these are the resolutions you need to have by December. Will you say, I have glorified you in 2022, Lord? December, 20, December 31st, I am now here before you in the crossover. Apostle Frank, tuliko na yetu kianzia. Na sasa tunataka kufunga mwaka na ye kwa hii mkutano ya crossover. Lakini, iyo munda tumekua na ye, ame I have glorified you in 2022. Can you stand and say like that? 
Did you glorify God in, my, in your marriage? Did you glorify God? Did you glorify God in your ministry? Did you glorify God in singing? Did you glorify God in evangelism? Did you glorify God the way you would rest? Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus says, comfortably I have glorified thee. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In every circumstance, Jesus wanted to have his Father glorified. In every circumstance. Jesus sought to have his father glorified. In deed or in war, never did he ridicule, adulate, and rate, hallelujah, or underestimate his father. Nowhere. Jesus never in word or deed ridicule, underrate, or underestimate his father. Can you imagine? My God. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many times have you ridiculed the Lord? Jesus. How, how do you ridicule God? Yes, this is very hard. This is a very hard matter before God. I don't think He can make it. These are things that are very difficult before God. Now, every time you limit God, you are ridiculing His presence. He can deliver you. He can heal you. He has made me what I am. For almost 20 years in Nairobi, I have no job. I have not worked anywhere. God said, you cannot work and preach. God took me into ministry. I stopped all my career, my career and everything to go and preach. I have glorified thee, O oh God, in every circumstance. As a young man, I was telling God, I want to glorify you in my marriage. Mm -hmm. I said, no, it will not happen like that. And I could stand and I was still preaching. And I would say, me, I will not backslide. I will not fall in my marriage. And I never fell. By the grace of God, I was able to do that. I was able to have a holy transition. Praise the Lord. You need to see with your mouth, I will not ridicule, underrate, or underestimate my Father in heaven. Can you say like that today? Yes. Or you will say that uh, this, this uh, post went there, it is allowed to start afresh. Praise God. Amen. And we begin to glorify God now. Amen. 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 Every time I saw a girl with those eyes and a sneak, I remember I have to glorify God. Nani metakasa mbele za watu. Niki hupi, nika sima sita amuka. I will not backslide. Father, give me the grace. Now I come with this He can help you to start. I'm not the best, I'm not very perfect. Nime fail here and there. Lakini kuna ishi, kuna mari wengine. Tiliko tunakana buwana, let me tell you. Na kachini kwa maombi ya kufunga na kumba kama wiki tatu nne kwa mima. Na asai nibele za buwana. Na retewa form. Na isai, na sema, I will be righteous. I will hold on the Lord. Until the last minute, I'm not back, right? And I put aside there in prayer and fasting. I, I had to evaluate myself. And ask myself, have I glorified God in my youth? Praise the Lord. My ministry is to make sure that you are better. Now that's, my, my, my work as a pastor is to do the work so that you, the bride, can stand before the groom and ashamed. That is my work. That is my work. Glorify thee. Koibo, Esther, praise God. Unaweza kumabia mungu, I have glorified thee. Number two, I have finished the work. Can't you see that in verses two? In verses four? But be of verses four. The Bible says, I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. Yes, you see, Kufana, 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 do, Abana. Eh? See, Kufana, do. Me, Kumarisa, Pia. Are you hearing this, my daughters? Eh? Especially those of you that are not married. You must do the work and finish it. See, do Yes. Let the, the pastor come and oversee. and oversee. Ukingia kuwa bibi, jamen. Don't worry, we will see how you can correct that. Come out, Peter. Please work with you. I saw you, I had you on radio, and I felt you touched me, and I just want to see who is that man who touched me like that. I can be you. Now, can you be a minute? Could not say this morning's book at all. Now, that is more than a good ministry. She is very far. I come in that ministry. Nikai Tiniako Uniangari, Bakamimi, or you're attacking for your rooster. Amen. God has servants. But 
it is not only about doing it, it's also finishing. You must finish the work. That's him on Marisa Kati. Yes, why could you look as after I'm a Marisa, 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 I'm Razima umarize kazi. He that endures to the end. Razima usimane mbaka mwishu jameni prison. Amen. Not only did he want, did he, did he want the work done. His vision was to perfect and to complete the assignment given him. Praise God. Not only did he want the work done. His vision was to perfect and complete the assignment given him. Do you know you have an assignment? Do you know you have an assignment? Yes. You have an assignment. I have an assignment. Right, my one of my assignments is to bring souls to Christ. That is my assignment. And so when God gives me any avenue, I want to do that assignment and to finish it. I have an assignment. Each one of you have an assignment. We give ever you have an assignment to support the work of God. Now, you know how man you must by. That is your assignment. You must do it to the end. This, uh, with the, some of you have an assignment to pray for this ministry. I will pray for Apostle Frank. Need to make sure you come back to care what we That is the assignment you have. I want this healing ministry to affect the world. Through my prayer, on my knees, I'll make sure it is done. That is the assignment God has given you. You should not only do it, you should make sure that you perfect and complete that assignment. Jesus says in verses 4, part B, I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. Have you finished the work? <laughs> have you finished the work? Umeama kanisa hii, unataku wata apostle Frank wende. Umemaliza kazi ukaenda huko sasa ukaenda. Na lazima ujue assignment yako umepewa na Mungu wapi? When God calls you, he apostles you the land to work on. Ni jambo gani utahima? Wewe zilima kakamega, ulime Rift Valley, ulime Northeastern, kuna mahali Mungu anakuwa portion. And even this lady when we went there, God told us, I want to bring people who will help you to do the work of God. So, assignment yako iko wapi? Assignment yako iko wapi? Mimi wote mshiro kiniambia hapo so you should come here in the US become a pastor here. Mimi namwambia no this is not my assignment. Mm. Assignment yako is not the US. Assignment yako is not kuenda na Tanzania. This is my home of assignment. It is Kenya and I want to make sure Kenyans hear this word. When I was coming from India I told go will you hear people in Kenya my people in Kenya the way you hear people in India go say yes I will. Start doing healing programs. That's how we came up with the healing programs and healing on the waves, which is now affecting people in there. Thousands. Praise God. Number three. He said, I have manifested your name. I have manifested. Wow, that is in verses. Verse six. He said, I have manifested your name. And the men which thou givest me out of the world, thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now I have manifested thy word, thy word, thy name, thy name is. Yes. I've manifested your name. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Jesus chose to reveal, to demonstrate, to show forth. And to this prayer, in what and did his father, Jesus chose to reveal everything he was doing was to reveal his father, to demonstrate the name of the father, to show forth the name of the father, to this prayer, the name of the father, in one and indeed, he would. Reveal, demonstrate, show forth, and display. Akuna mahali yesu wanyeno kujipiga kifua. Kifua kujipiga ni ya wanasiasa. Mimi naweza, yaya hawezi, mimi naweza, huyu ni mpaya, naweza peana, naweza kuwa raizi kuduri. Hiyo ni ya wanasiasa. 
Jesus stands before God and he says, I have manifested your name. In other words, I have revealed, demonstrated, shown forth, displayed. Have this bridge. Our Father, not our Jesus. He did not tell us to pray our Jesus in heaven. It is our Father who is in heaven. He spoke about the Father every time. Powerful. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. When you pray like this, pray in the name uh, our apostle, our archbishop. And Jesus was more than an archbishop. What? Can you imagine? What? And you want to be open, power, by the help of the Holy Spirit. He revealed, he manifested, he demonstrated, he displayed the name of the Father. And he gives an assessment. Now I'm gonna have a reason by your wobo. You want to be quite you to an assembly I did. I have, I have. Praise God. Amen. Let's go first to number four. I have given them thy word. I have given them thy word. This is the assessment we need to bring before God. I have given them thy word. Hmm? Yeah, when I give on a horse. Yeah, 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 Yes, he was not like that. But the Bible says, "Yes, he was not like that." He was not like that. 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 He was like that's why I'm endeavoring day and night to raise a ministry like the Jesus ministry. Yes. Jesus ministry is what is my model in preaching. I want the ministry like the ministry of Jesus. Yes. In fact, Jesus did not even build a church. He, he was not a he, he did not raise a physical church. He raised a church in men, in, in, in the hearts of men. Like in New Africa, that is how we have missed the mark. We have missed the mark because if if the church, when a church was a priority, then Jesus had gone on. But he, he did not have a church. His church was in the Crusades. Look at me. His church was in Hulpa. His church was in, 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 in open air, in Kayore, in Edorai. In, in, that was his church. And he, he endeavored to raise a church in men. What to I'll build my church and the gates of hell? Get our people. Those people shall not overcome my church, not a building. I was not talking about a building. In fact, I didn't building. I didn't a genie. After three days, I built it. He was demolishing evil systems. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you blessed? I am. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. So, I have given them thy word. Verses 8. I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. These people who receive the word in Jesus' name. Amen. Even these my people receive the word. Amen. Amen. And they have received them, and have known surely that I came out of from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. What the fuck? I've taught them thy word. Eh? Back what I told you He had not. He had no message of himself. His message was his father. Mm -hmm. Even under intense pressure, Jesus spoke the word he had received from the father. He never deviated. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead of waiting angrily to die. Instead of waiting angrily. Because I'm here, I'm people. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Nifufio <laughs> You are ridiculing God. Why are you ridiculing God? Mimi sita anguka. Mimi takuwa mwaminifu kwako. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hata kama umekataku nipatia. 
hata kama factory yako imekataa kunipea my organ ambayo iliharibika nimetolewa hivyo na umekataa kunirudishia mnajua tu iko mbinguni lakini umekataa kunipea ni sawa tu bwana no problem but i will get you are ridiculing god jesus did not ridicule god he did not ridicule his father hakumok wakati amepewa ameumizwa amefanywa nini oh guy amepepeshwa msalaba mbona ndio kupata angry na akove aende huko akachukuliwa na Simeon aliuliza huyo mtu utakuwa na mimi leo paradiso he kept preaching Jesus to the right brain please god and that is why Jesus refused the first half the god what the, the vinegar alikataa ya kwanza vinegar akachukua ya pili ya kwanza alikataa maana it was pain killer he wanted to go through the cross a pity msalaba fure bila kukua kuondolewa chochote apitie msalaba bila bila azikie the full pain the full wrath of god akaikata isikuwe pain killer ya pili ilikuwa energy giver akaikunywa akatoa sauti yake it is finished my god that is why he took the last vinegar the second vinegar i was given because he wanted some strength to release the last statement the last proclamation it is finished na hapo na hiyo huruma na alikuwa amehangiwa mahali between the the air was hanging na hapo ngotia akove akiwa amekasirika aende kwa huyo baba wakaonane ya nitakuja huko siku moja na sikia kwa siku hizo watu wanasema nitakuja huko kwako tutaonana utaniambia kwa nini niteseka duniani ni nyumba hakukua nazo huko pengoni unipea mani lakini nitakama umilivu mpaka nikuja nikunione siku moja nikuona siku moja utanielezea kwa nini ukulipea my friend hizo zinazafanya hata huko usimuone wewe ukisema i want to come and see the president uhuru kenyatta i want to meet you ndio nieleze kwa nini kebera umekataa kutengeneza barabara i want to meet you utamuona no i'm asking you will you meet him why do you think you will meet god by telling him i want to come there so that you can explain to me kwa nini ni kwamba niingie kwa television na ukakataa why do you think you will see him you might never see him you might never see him i'm your pastor let me teach you the word of god so that you don't err amen wacha kuwekea mungu mashati hizo hawezi timiza he is not kahe kako he says is not your kapi praise god he is a man he is a good man nyele zake ni zawadi nikusema amekula miaka kuliko wewe wacha kukaa kwa kumtisha ameona vitu kuliko zile umeona kuishi kwingi ni kuona mingi mtu alikuwa wakati kabla Abraham aje huko alikuwa wewe unataka kumtisha na hisa ndio ndio sasa anaweza sema 
I have given them thy word. He's still waiting and ready to die. He preached with his last breath and won a soul at the last minute on the cross. I didn't hear me going in a last soul.